we as human beings and also the tree are both composed of 70% of water. As you know, the Earth is known as a water planet. 97.5% of the water that exists on the Earth is seawater, which means the remaining 2.5% is fresh water that can be used for drinking. However, 70% fresh water is frozen. The water that people can drink is only about 0.01% from the planet. Seawater and fresh water are always circulating. Water percolates to the subsurface, drawing up as a well water. Water will flow out naturally to the ground. Flowing down to the ground surface as a river. Water travels to the ocean. That was the cycle of water. But depending on uh, the country's natural environment, the characteristic of water is also different. For example, Japan. Japan is a long island that extends from north and south. From the top of the mountains, the uh, water from the river flows to the sea <coughs> through the steep ridges, flowing to the east and west. When water from the river splashes like a waterfall, the water mixed with Oxygen. Aerobic bacteria increases. Then it creates a balanced light and pure flavored water with lively organic matter. The, uh, the Amazon River lands throughout the vast lands of Brazil and is the longest river in the world. While water is flowing down the river, it becomes rich in nutrition, then creates a land with a repository of ingredients. Even just by Comparing these two countries, the environment surrounding the waters are completely different. At, the, at a glance, all water may look the same, but the other characteristics of water are different. Simply looking or even touching the water can't help us understand the difference. But now, I want everyone to understand the difference by experiencing through taste. Today, I have bought three, type, uh, three different types of water. So please try taste. <laughs> we have two, three different, please. One.
Well, please, please try. Each person have to try three types. Yes. One of these is tap water. And natural spring water from Japan. And the last, filtered tap water. Some of the chlorine, calcium, and magnesium is extracted to create soft water. So, This picture shows one of the best place to get kombu. I made a kombu dashi to show a bigger difference of the flavor. When added, the, uh, when added to these waters, How is it? Which number do you think is spring water? Please raise a hand. Already tasted? It's OK? Already done? Uh, please, please. Each person, one, two, three. Huh? <laughs> Tw 24 hours marinade with kombu. Yes. I started yesterday <laughs> in the white <my> room. <laughs> This picture. <laughs> Everybody down or no? Okay. Okay, so. Already, okay, done? Okay, so which number do you think is spring water? Liza, please. Number one. Number two. And number three. Okay, so the answer is number two. Number two is with spring water. So even though the water looks the same, there is still a difference. Tap water is hard water. Uh, so it's diff uh, difficult to make a dashi. 
When we change hard water to soft water, the flavor gets a bit better. However, natural spring water out the most dashy, creating a deep, complex, balanced flavor. Although Japan's forest is small, it's easy to feel the power of nature. Since Brazil has the vast rivers of the Amazon, surely nobody can measure the amazing water here. All of us in the restaurant use a lot of water. Because of this, the difference of the water will greatly affect the finish. So, lastly, I'd like to give a special thanks to Mr. Sergio Coimbra. He's an amazing photographer who provided most of these pictures. And special thanks to Felipe. Thank you. And I my best friend, amazing chef, Alex Satar. And all staff here, thank you very much. Muito obrigado.